Okay, girls, the derivative of log of x, and there's the rule. If y equals log to the base e of x, then dy dx, or the first derivative, is 1 on x. Okay, now the proof. Okay, girls, we'll just have a very quick look at the proof, okay? All right. All right, I'll just, um, I'll do the proof down here, but I've got it over there as well. 4.7. So it's exercise 4.7, girls. Okay, 4.7. Okay, the proof. Um, they actually haven't proven it forwards, they've proven it backwards. So they've got that dy dx, you can see it's on the right-hand side of the screen. dy dx is, you obviously won't have to reproduce this, isn't it 1 over dx dy? Because if you do 1 divided by dx dy, it's 1 times dy dx, right? So this is the proof. dy dx is 1 over dx dy. Now we know that y is log to the base e of x. So just, no, you don't have to. y is log to the base e of x using that rule, x equals e to the y. So if, if x is e to the y, so isn't y equal log to the base e of x? So this is doing the rule the other way. If you know that y equals log to the base e of x, then x equals e to the y. Just, you know, that's the log law, the log rule, the log law. So therefore, so we know that x is e to the y. So we know how to differentiate that. What's dx dy? Be careful. Normally we do dy dx because normally we're differentiating e to the x. But if x is e to the y, then dx dy is just e to the y. So dx dy is e to the y, therefore dy dx is 1 over e to the y. And we know that e to the y is x. That's the proof. You won't need to reproduce it. Okay? So all we need to know is the rule. When you differentiate, so basically the rule is, if you differentiate ln x, you get 1 on x. That's all you need to know. All you need to know is the rule. Whoops, we're off screen. So the rule is the following. If y equals ln x, not log to the base 10, it's got to be ln x or log to the base e of x, then dy dx is 1 on x. That's it. So let's start the function rule. If y equals log to the base e of some function of x, isn't the rule just do the same thing and multiply by the derivative? We've done it for trig functions. We've done it for, e, for exponential functions. So you just do the normal rule. So if y equals log to the base e of function of x, then dy dx is 1 over, the normal rule would be 1 over x. But it's 1 over the function of x times, do you get it? Because normally it's 1 on x, times f dashed x, times the derivative of x. In other words, dy dx is, now this is one of the most important rules. This is the most important rule because when we come to integrate in the next exercise, see, if you differentiate, so basically... If y equals ln function of x, then dy dx is f dashed x on fx. When we come to integrate, the integral of a fraction is a log. So, so far we haven't learnt how to integrate fractions. We will next lesson. But the integral of a fraction that has to be in that format is a log. All right? Okay, but today we just focus on if y is some log of a function of x, um, then dy dx is... 1 on that function of x times f dashed x, or f dashed x on fx. All right, we'll do some examples. Do go through their examples, and then I'll do some from the book. So differentiate the following. Um, log to the base e of x squared minus 3x plus 1. So y equals dy dx is... What do you get? If it was ln x, you'd get 1 on x. So we get 1 on whatever that is. What do you get? All right. 
And this is where the log laws come into play as well. Are we ready? So what do we get? 1 over, normally if it was ln x, you'd get 1 on x. This is ln function of x, you get 1 over the function of x times f dashed x, which is 2x minus 3. So you end up with 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 3x plus 1. No factorising, you just leave it. Now the next one. Um, so there's question one, one over function of x times f dashed x, and you can write it as f dashed x on fx. Differentiating this log to the base e of a fraction, we don't do quotient rule or anything like that for logs. We need to use the log laws. So log to the base e of a on of something over something else. We use this law, log to the base a of x on y is log to the base a of x minus log to the base a of y. So we separate these two, and then we do... 1 over function of x times f dashed x, that's the first one, minus 1 over function of x times f dashed x, which is 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 over 3x minus 4. Appreciate that. This is question 1n. Looks like question ln, doesn't it? Log joke. Okay. Okay, what do we do? Yeah, we do our normal derivative. 6 to the front, x squared plus log to the base e of x to the power of 5 times differentiate what's inside. 2x plus 1 on x. Now, yeah, okay. Yeah, because log to the base e of x is 1 on x. Um, you might go common denominator here. 6, I think it needs simplifying. If I go common denominator, what would it be? 2x squared plus 1 on x. So you could write it now as, because remember when you're multiplying fractions, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, you'd have 6 bracket, I'd probably put the 2x squared plus 1 first, then the x squared plus, and I'd write it probably as ln x to the power of 5 all over x. So, because log to the base e of x is ln x. Log to the base e of x is ln x. So 6, you'd normally put that first, then that. It doesn't matter. I just didn't want to put the power of 5 thing before, but you can write it in that order. But remember, multiplying a whole um, fractions, multiply the numerators, multiply... They didn't, but it's not a common denominator. It's just they just left it like this. Yeah, but it's not a common denominator. Common denominator is when you're adding. I'm just multiplying the numerators, multiplying the denominator. Oh, they just left it like this. Okay, so they haven't simplified it. Um, look, you probably don't. I'd only simplify if they ask you. All right. That's the quest. No, the the answer was this. They just left it like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, girls. Log to the base e of function of x. dy dx is. So just go. It's log to the base e of some function of x. I know the function of x is log to the base e of x, but isn't it one over the function of x times differentiate that? You know, there's only one. This is just function of a function. It's not. This is not two functions in x. This is not product rule. Well, isn't it? Isn't the rule if y is log to the base e of function of x, then y dashed is 1 over the function of x times f dashed x. I don't have two functions here. Yeah, we're still not done. Times, differentiate that, 1 on x. So therefore your answer is 1 over x ln x. This is log to the base e of function of x. It's this format. This is not product rule. Log to the base e of some function of x. Isn't the rule 1 over the function of x? It's over here. Times f dashed x. 
this is derivative of that is that. So therefore, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. It's 1 over x ln x, or x log to the base e of x. I picked that on purpose because it's tricky. I know, that's why I picked it. Right, next, I'm going to pick a product rule. We might do v. Yeah, we'll do v. You got it? All right, I'll just move it up. No, no, it doesn't. The rule is, if y equals log to the base e of some function of x, then the derivative is 1 over the function of x. So this is... Yeah. Question 1v. Because it's quicker than writing log to the base e. So question v, what do you do? And I've got to do I or something as well. Product rule, normal product rule. No log rules yet. It's just a normal product rule. U is U dash V, V dash. E X, E to the X, L N X. What else? 1 on x, yep. So dy dx is v u dash or u v dash plus v u dash. u times v dash. You should factorize where you can. So it's u times v dash plus v times u dash. What's the common factor? e to the x, 1 on x plus ln x. Yep, I'd leave it like that. You could write 1 plus ln x on x, but I wouldn't. The next one I think we should do is question... All right. Yeah, keep it as log to the base e if you want. But the question's written as ln. Look, I suppose if they write the question as ln, put your answer ln. If the question's log to the base e, write your answer log to the base e. But it's the same thing. Oh, you're saying you can't see the question over here. This is one I now. Do you have V or not? Do you have V? All right, girls, this one. Log law. Log law. Um, yeah, you could expand, I suppose, if you wanted. But it's the log laws. Log, so where your log, so the log law that we're using is log to the base A of X times Y is log to the base A of X plus log to the base A of Y. That's what we're using. We're using this log law. Log to the base A of X times Y is log to the base A of X plus log to the base A of Y. So what does this become? Log to the base E of 2X plus 4 plus log to the base E of 3X minus 1. We good? Now instead of doing 1 over times, so it's 1 over times 2 plus 1 over so therefore it becomes, be careful with the 2 over 2x plus 4 because that can be simplified. Yeah, so the first fraction is actually what? 1 over x plus 2 plus 3 over 3x minus 1. 
Okay. Hmm. All right, I think that's enough of questions. Well, four first. Do the yucky ones first. Because I think you know how to do gradient of tangent to curve or not. All right, example four from theirs. Differentiate the following. Example four from the examples. Oh, it's still the same thing. No heading. It doesn't matter. It's the example four from their examples. Differentiate log to the base two of x. So girls, remember the log laws, the rule for differentiation is only log to the base e. So you're going to have to change base. So if y is log to the base two of x, then that's the same as log to the base e of... See, remember with change of base, you can choose ln or log. You'd obviously choose log to the base e. Log to the base, log to the base e of, which one? I don't want log to the base 2. When you differentiate, it's got to be log to the base e. So this is the rule. Log to the base a of b is log to the base e of b over log to the base e of a. Or I could have done log to the base 10. But I'm choosing to do log to the base e because you can only differentiate log to the base e. Change of base rule. You can only differentiate ln or log to the base e. So what's this going to be? Log to the base e of? Yes. Over log to the base e of 2. Now girls, all right, so it's basically ln 2, girls. Just put it on your calculator and see what it is, ln 2. It's a number. ln 2 is a constant. Log to the base e of 2 is just a constant. Got it? So, you're basically just differentiating the log to the base e of x. So, dy dx is, remember log to the base e is just a constant. So, just keep it out the front, times, now differentiate the log to the base e of x. Just pause for the prayer, get this done. Oh, it's on video. All right, girls, so y is, I've broken them apart so that you know that this is just a constant. Now we'll do dy dx. What do you do for... Sorry, no, no, no. I haven't differentiated yet, but that over that means 1 over log to the base e of 2 times log to the base e of x. I'm just separating them so that you can see that that's like a half or something. So differentiate now, girls, 1 over log to the base e of 2 is a constant. It doesn't get differentiated. Because ln2 is a number. Girls, on your calculator, ln2 is approximately 0.5 something. If you do it on your calculator, ln2 is whatever it is. I don't know what it is. But ln2 is a constant. ln2 is a constant. It's got no x's in it. Do you get what I've done here, girls? I'm just trying to say ln2 is a constant, just like ln1, ln0, or whatever. Actually, there's no ln0, it's undefined. All right? So, no. No, that's if it's plus. Because there's no function in x down the bottom. I can't see an x down the bottom, it's a constant. It's a constant because there's no x in there. If you want a function in x, there has to be an x in it. There is no x in ln. Girls, e is just a number. Ln e on your calculator is a number. So it's a constant. So girls, how do I differentiate? So you don't differentiate the constant. How do you differentiate 1 on... Sorry, it's just 1 on x. So the answer is 1 over x log to the base e of 2 or ln 2. So it's 1 over x ln 2. Now, if you want to use quotient rule, you can, but it's going to get very, very long. All right, watch. dy dx is v, which is ln 2, times u dash minus u 
times v dash, v dash is zero, differentiate the constant, you get zero, over v squared ln 2 squared. So that's, it's just such a mess. It's ln 2 times 1 on x, which is ln 2 on x divided by ln 2 squared, if you were to do this, ln 2 on x times 1 on ln squared. Did we just end up with 1 on x? The answer is 1 on x ln 2, which is what we had. See, what's easier? It's, girls, you need to recognise that something without an x is a constant. Got it? There's no e, there's no x there, that is not quotient rule. You can do it by quotient rule, but I guarantee you, you'll, get it, you'll mess it up. All right, what's easier? To understand that that is a constant is much easier than doing that messy, messy thing. All right, you would not, do not do it this way. All right, can you see why? why? That's a nightmare. All right. I know. You could take e to the ln2 of both sides or use the log law. Do you want to use? Yeah, you could go x equals log to the base 2 of y using. Let's just try that, but, but what does y equal? 2 to the power of. But then you end up with x is x. So that doesn't um, help. All right, let's see. Wouldn't that be, but you're not going to end up with dy dx. You're going to end up with dx dy this way, and then we've got to flip the answer. We want dy dx, don't we? If you, let's just try this. If y equals 2 to the power of x, then x equals log to the base 2 of y. So x is log to the base e of y over log to the base e of 2. We could do it this way. Remember, you can't differentiate. Now, if I want to, Remember, you can't differentiate log to the base 2, only log to the base e. This is one way of doing it. So, how did I get this? It's a change of base. You can't differentiate log to the base 2. You can only do log to the base e. So, you do the change of base. So, now, girls, this is not going to give me dy dx, but it's going to give me dx dy. So, I'm going to show you how to do this question two ways. So dx dy is log to the base e of 2. Is that a constant? The bottom. The, so it's so that's the same as 1 over log to the base e of 2 times log to the base e of y. So if you differentiate, you're getting dx dy is 1 over log to the base e of 2 times 1 on y. So therefore, that's what dx dy is. Isn't it 1 over y ln 2? So therefore, what's dy dx? Flip it. y ln 2. Now, what does y equal? y is, look at the question, 2 to the power of x. So it's 2 to the power of x ln 2, which is what they got, and now we'll do it their method. I actually prefer this method. Because if there was a y here and an x there, you'd write dy dx. If there is an x here and a y there, you write dx dy. Yeah? You've got to be careful of that stuff, girls. You've got to look at that notation. That is one way of doing the question. I think it's the easier way to do the question, actually. Yep. The next way, can I move now or not? y equals 2 to the power of x, then... Or sub. Because normally when you do dy dx, you end up with all x's on this side, not y's. That is one way of doing that question. The other way is as follows. Are we ready? If y equals 2 to the x. Right, what they've done is that they've written, well, 2, this does not continue on, 
happens to be E ln 2, right? So therefore, if I want to write y equals 2 to the x, I'll just write note, that 2 equals E ln 2, so therefore, you know how the question is y equals 2 to the x? It'll now become 2 to the power of, no it won't, it'll become E ln 2 to the power of x. Do you get it? So, because 2, see this is harder. Who would ever think of doing this? So, 2 equals E ln 2. So they're replacing this 2 with an E ln. So E ln x. Don't you just multiply these? A m to the n is A m n, that rule. So this is E l x ln 2. Or, yeah. Wait. So that's what y is. Now you can differentiate. E to the function of x. So dy dx is. If you differentiate E to the function of x, what do you get? e to the function of x times f dash x. So I get e to the function of x. So if I've got, this is the rule. If y is e to the function of x, then y dashed is e to the function of x times f dash x. So I get e to the function of x times, because ln2 is a constant. Differentiate x ln2 or ln, what do you get? If you differentiate 2x, what would you get? 2. Ln2 is a constant, so you get, what do you get? Ln2. So your answer is Ln2 times e to the x Ln2. Now, looking back, isn't e Ln2 a 2? So this is Ln2 times e to the ln 2 times x. Do you agree? See how bad this method is? You know x times ln 2, I swap them around and I get ln 2 times 2 to the x. This method is really tricky. The other method is a lot, lot better. But this is the way the textbook does it. I don't like it. It's just too confusing. Now, homework will be so girls, um, <coughs> if you can just copy out example three from the examples, I'm sure you won't have a problem with that. And then in the exercise, um, I would probably do all of it because just do all of it. Well, you do what you can. No, because there's a lot of stuff. No, you need to do it all because there's equation of tangent, equation of normal, um, stationary points, find inflections, they're all different. You need to do it all, all of it.